So we are doing exercise two. We have started exercise two. We are observing the self and the body by the self. And yesterday we were talking about this interaction between the self and the body. We started to explore this transfer of information between the self, a unit of consciousness, and the body, which is a material unit. And as we go through the steps, once we complete this part, which is hardly, I think, the very next slide, we'll go into the steps. So as we go through the steps, we'll go through these in more detail. But as of now, yesterday, uh, when we were discussing this, there were several questions and uh, uh, yesterday omoji was sharing or mm. in fact asking the question that you know uh, when we have certain kind of chemical secretion or you know inside the body so we get certain kind of emotions and uh, i was wondering you know who gives the instruction to the brain or uh, when we see psychosomatic disorders, like, you know, our emotions decides the you know, environment within or the situation kind of hormone or enzymes within. So yeah. can, can you put some light on this? Yeah. What Amolji was sharing was that today in science, this is what is being said that you know some chemical change happens and therefore the person feels happy or sad or depressed certainly you know you can make some chemical changes happen in the body and for a self that is less evolved it can definitely have impact on the self but for a self that is more evolved being more subtle than the gross body, the self can overrule the impact of the body on itself. And so far as the scientific studies are concerned, now if you don't bring self in the picture, then definitely it will look like the brain is only controlling everything, isn't it? So what he was mentioning was that in science, it is being mentioned like this, that some change happens in the body and therefore we feel happy. But who is this we that we are not clear about? Isn't it? Who is this I? Is it just the body? So in science, we are not even talking about the self. But if you look at the self, now you can see that there could be a reversal of this. When I feel something, when I have a certain emotion, when I have a certain feeling, now I can, you know, give instruction to the body via the brain. So how will it show up in the brain? It will show up in a physical form, gross form. So therefore, it shows up in the instruments that we can map. And so we think that this happened in the brain, and therefore we were feeling like this. But what was being said was that if we observe this instant, we can have a change in feeling if we decide. Isn't it? Yes, yes. Does that answer and, uh, the question? Yes, yes. And okay. really you must see that many times doctor says, uh, if you have you know particular kind of disease, uh, the outcome may be irritation or you know anxiety is within. So you know th those things becomes invalid na? when we see these things that uh, we have the capability to control the emotion or uh, decide the environment within. Yeah, within. see, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, um, if you look at say a condition like high blood pressure, hypertension. Yeah. So yeah, people yeah. say I have high blood pressure. So don't mess with me because 
I get angry. So, is it that because you have hypertension, you get angry, or is it that anger has become your sanskar over time, and it is having an impact on the body? So you'll notice some of these conditions that show up later in life when you have been, you know, going through, uh, you know, from birth. These conditions may not be there, but as you keep going through life, as you keep, you know, having these emotions again and again and again and again, ultimately it. the effect shows up in the body as some of these conditions and in the body it will show up as something gross so you will be able to measure it but this is what is the disease causing the change in the feeling or the feeling you know the impact of the feeling again and again and again over time is leading to some change in the body so that uh, part for science to be able to see that you have to first be able to see that there is something beyond the material body that person that i am as a human being i am not just the body i am the self and i am associating with the body the role of the body is more like it is a tool for me to use it is an instrument for me to use so if i see it that way then i will be able to see some of these things and when i change the feeling like for instance today in modern science they say that high blood pressure is something you have to live with you can't really get over it and you have to keep taking medication lifelong but this is also true that for many people you will notice that the blood pressure medicine seems to work for some time but then it seems to what they call it is resistant to the medicine the blood pressure now you will see that if somebody has a strong sanskar unless they work on the sanskar you know the impact of the medicine can only have a certain um effect but if the sanskar is continuing to be there again and again that anger will show up and again and again that you know blood pressure will uh, keep shooting up despite the medication so you can see this in many many people you will see that they start with one medication at some point it doesn't work then two are added then three are added and so on so somewhere it is not having impact why because the body has definite conduct but it is not having impact because the self is involved here and the reverse is also true that if one works on the sanskars then you can also get rid of this hypertension that anxiety but for that you have to pay attention inside you have to start with that um, at least acknowledging the self and seeing the feeling in the self so it's not about controlling the feeling as much as it is about realizing or you know seeing your sanskars and then trying to go along with your natural acceptance then you don't have to control anything you work with your natural acceptance and as you keep doing that these sanskars these assumptions acceptances that are not in line with natural acceptance they start getting weaker they fade and they fall away jee jee yes. and the another interesting thing is you know when we heard something like doctor says you know the outcome is irritation or something like that may happen and later part you know we are so preconditioned that even that is not there but it comes to our behavior and we think uh, for that reason we are behaving in that way <laughs> yeah certainly the body you know changes chemical changes in the body do have an impact after all you know when you talk of the property of a unit you know, this is what it is the impact 
of one property on another and if you see even though they may not be physically connected by virtue of being in space every unit is reflected onto every other unit so certainly some you know impact will be there but how aware i am will decide how impacted i am by this change in the body or the change in the environment we can see this very clearly even with the environment or if we start with the body when there is some problem in the body and there is pain now i can either take care of the pain by giving proper instructions to the body so that we can get rid of the pain and take care of the disharmony in the body or i may get very impacted by the pain and i may suffer the pain now this response will be different in different people because the assumptions are different in different people acceptances are different in different people level of evolution of different selves is different isn't it yes yeah. the brain is part of the body or part of the self hmm number 2 if it is part of the body fine then what is self comprised of hmm. and is there a self if there is no body okay so the body has you no know, if you you may not have seen but if you go and attend any autopsy you know where yeah. they cut open the body and the dead body and they see yes. you will find that the brain is very much there in the body yes so it is a part of the body right but in that dead body you don't see life yes isn't it that life yes. is what is self what is enlivening the body that is the self but the brain is very much there even if you cut open a dead body or you know the brain is still there so it is definitely a part of the body you can see it physically with your gross eyes that it is there the self being a unit of consciousness it is something not as gross as the material body so therefore you are not able to see it you are not able to see it with your gross eyes yeah but the consciousness will come into effect or it will be effective only if the brain is working right um not necessarily how do we how do we i mean uh, See, um, science also has said that the brain is not developed fully till 5 years of age yes okay but the self you know there is movement of the baby in the womb of the mother isn't it yes from um, 4 5 months you can see i mean you can if you do an ultrasound you can see the baby kicking and moving and all so is it yeah, happening on its own there, there is a body and there is some activity and there are some parts and organs there in the body you know, of the baby in the womb right and so how is the body moving is it moving on its own well i i cannot comment on that i'm not going to comment on <laughs> so that keep it open keep it open yeah. explore it little more and okay see, huh? that is okay. one part then when we say you know what happens when you know if the body dies or where is the self and so on so what is being said is that these are two distinct entities the body and the self and they are both there submerged in space like every other unit we can see all the units are submerged in space so even when the body dies the body being material all the parts they decay that is the process and it goes back to the nature the soil or whatever okay the self continues to be 
it is there it was in you know submerged in space it continues to be submerged in space in the way it was in terms of you know the activities and so on so it is not that the self dies the body dies and you know it goes through that process of decay and all of that formation deformation all this keeps taking place but in the case of the self the self continues to be in the existence i want to know the relationship between the self and the body yeah so see again right now all this seems very mystical because we are not able to see it hmm but if we take the example of say we are working on something today mm. and like the other day chandrakala ji or somebody was sharing it got late in the night you get tired so you decide to sleep and wake up next morning and do that work isn't it, it happens sometimes yes 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 now when you are sleeping you may not be aware at all that this work has to be done hmm. you may be able to be in deep sleep but the next morning when you wake up you have some this thing that you have to finish that work today what you started yesterday you couldn't complete so you want to do it today isn't it hmm. yes so similarly now if we see if we look at the self the self is there with the body at some point say the body is damaged because of old age or because of disease or whatever the self can choose to dissociate with that body and then take another fresh body because ultimately the self needs to evolve and to evolve you know of uh, one ways to take this body and to work with the body and have this interaction with everybody else in the environment and so work with that so the, this is what keeps happening till you get to a point of realization once you are realized now your you know the purpose of getting the body was to get to knowing now you got to knowing you don't have this necessity to take the body but at the same time you may want to help others those who have not um reached to realization or to knowing so you may choose to take a body and then uh, come back and help others but there it is something that is not like a necessity it is something that you do out of that nature of giving for others so you will find that there are many saints many people who from childhood itself they say things like they want to learn the scriptures they want to do you know sadhana and all of that so how does that happen so if we explore all this this can be one answer for it that some things you have already done in previous journeys and so you want to start from where you left off but this is only possible when we are awakened to some of the higher activities within us whatever is in the b2 block that will keep changing it will not stay it will not persist whatever is there in the b1 block whatever um, awareness of the activities is there that much will continue in the journey and so you will you know um, keep going with that 
till you are able to see everything in completeness, the reality in completeness. But we may not be able to see it, but even so, we can keep it open. The name of the book is Many Lives, Many Masters. The author is Dr. Brian Weiss. Okay, we'll go further. Can we go to the next slide? Yes. So now we come to step one of this exercise of observing the self and the body by the self. So we can look at this, that I am there. How do I know that I am there? Because I can see these activities that are going on within me. I can see the imagination. I can see that it is going on within me. So I know that I exist. I can see, observe as in, when we say see, it is not through the um, gross eyes, but even with eyes closed, I can see these activities within myself. So I can say that the self exists. It is a reality. The body is also there. How do I know that the body is there? On the basis of observing or seeing the body or on the basis of reading the sensation from the body. So we'll find that for the most part, we are not doing the observing of the body, we are reading the sensation from the body and that's how we know that the body is there. Like when we say, I can see the image of the body in the mirror. When I get up in the morning and I look in the mirror, I can see the body, therefore I know the body is there. So when you're seeing the image, what is happening? There is this image of the body, the image is formed on the retina. We have learned this through science. And this image that is formed, this is, it means what? Through the sense organ, eye. Isn't it? The light goes in through the eyes. So it is a form of sensation. And I am reading that sensation, isn't it? When you get up and you look in the mirror, you don't see just your image. You see so many other images. You might see, you know, if it is your dressing table, you might see a hairbrush, you might see something else kept there. You might see a stool next to it, or you might see so many things outside. but you read some sensation from the body. This sensation is that, that uh, through the sense organ, I. So some image is being formed. You pay attention to some part of this huge image that is forming on your eyes. So similarly, you hear something. You hear me talking, you may hear also dogs barking, some birds chirping. What is happening? You read a particular sensation. You read the sound or you, you know, take note of what I am speaking. And you may not even recall that some dog barked or some bird chirped or something like that. You may not have been paying attention to it. So how do you really know that the body is there? If we try to observe this, we will see that the only way we can see that the body is there is because we read some sensation from the body. It can be with eyes closed or eyes open because when your eyes are open, 
you are using the sense organ i when your eyes are closed you are using other sense organs other than i it could be the ears it could be the nose you know smelling something it could be the touch the skin you know you can feel that and so many things so if we try to explore this on the basis of reading the sensation from the body that is how we are largely saying that i exist uh, the body exists but we can also see this directly through the self by observing directly through the self so the body is a reality i can see that it exists it is an existential reality and these are two distinct realities i have the capacity to observe this i i can do this i can observe this for myself so this we'll try to do for 10 minutes and then if there are any questions coming from this then we'll take those so we can just try to sit in one place and try to observe this these two realities that i am there and the body is also there and how i am able to say that i am there how i am able to say that the body is there what is it that i am able to see that i can say that the body is there and you will notice that it is only the sensation because of which i can say that the body is there sometimes i don't read the sensation i may be busy with myself i am not even aware that the body is there isn't it any observations anybody would like to share regarding this observing the self and observing the body as two distinct entities how are we able to see the body or you know what on what basis can we say that the body is there if anybody would like to share their observations what were our findings or what could we see in these last 10 minutes we will notice this that you know we keep saying we can see this therefore we know it is there but we can see again means that only that you this is a sensation through one of the sense organs of the body that you are reading that sensation so if we can observe this within ourselves we can see you know what is happening uh ganesh chatopadhyay ji didi namaste 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 my other friends uh, didi um, i to listen everything but see uh, as you say that we see uh, that uh, say there is problem on my eyesight problem so we have taken uh, say bifocal glass you see self wants to see without the glass anything uh, and from any distance but uh, the body is not helping so that it gets affected sometimes uh, or say a teeth uh, whenever older may be having certain problem okay so even if self wants to enjoy by taking uh, food but it is not the bad food that is for the proper nurturing taking care of the body and for right utilization these things are there okay but still it gets affected so though that been instrument as we say very many times body helps like instrument so instrument is not properly properly working okay sometimes we need its 
the repairing um, getting it but still it gets affected self is getting yeah. affected that much <laughs> yeah this is what so if i understand that uh, the body is something that is a uh, unit that will go through this process right uh, the moment that the baby is born the body hmm. is born only one thing is certain that ultimately one day it will die also hmm. isn't it in between many things may happen but i don't seem to understand that i see so many so many preconditions no i mean uh, you know i may have seen so many deaths happen ha, ha. death of the body Correct. but somehow i think it will never happen to me happen to me <laughs> but if we see the two distinctly then uh, that fear or that avoiding of seeing this uh, that becomes uh, uh, it goes away because yeah. right now what is happening is i am seeing myself as the body uh, and i have the will to live correct but i can see that the body dies so somewhere hmm. i think i am going to die but i mm. don't want to die mm. so i keep fearing avoiding that mm. but uh, if so i understand the reality the way it is ha, ha. then i will I also know. understand that the self as the self i have a will to live and i continue to live ha, ha. and the body is an instrument and Aye. will definitely go through this process of aging and you know ha, ha. Uh, mm. natural go through that um, process that is the change that is happening in the body that is if i understand that then hmm. i will work with the body for Correct. realization Correct. when the body is you know healthy it's fine it's hmm. working well why hmm. will i wait till old age to do that hmm. Hmm. but what happens is in the youth if we are busy with enjoying hmm. the body correct through the senses and all of that mm -hmm. or if you are not able to see this need for realization mm -hmm. uh, as time goes somewhere you know in old age if we realize the need mm -hmm. that we need to you know uh, get to knowing more job to be done then, but anywhere you start from yeah right this knowing happens through the self correct isn't it so mm. the body is used for expressing if we can understand that mm. then even when the body is damaged i can still mm. see within the self mm. and i can continue to um, sort of understand to mm. get to knowing which mm. is my true purpose isn't it mm. didi time is already over but yes, didi time is over we will not go into this didi didi tomorrow uh, tomorrow ha ha okay thank 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 yeah there are still couple more hands raised we'll take it up tomorrow didi, how are you and your and, all family members yeah yeah please everything is fine we need to switch to the hindi session now so we'll um we'll do this exercise today observing the self and the body by the self observing that i am there that i exist on the basis of my activities and the body is there by seeing by reading the sensation through the body we'll try to do this exercise directly observe this and tomorrow we'll take your observations 